I'm Michael Ohini, Client Technology Specialist from Dell. Today I want to review the Dell uh, USB-C Mobile Adapter 7-in-1. Uh, it's a DA310, uh, which I have here. I had a colleague of mine uh, asked me to do a, a, some testing on it and make a, a quick uh, video. Uh, we had some customers out there that were looking at it as a possible um, alternative to a traditional dock. Um, you know, this uh, device here is, is really meant to be mobile. Um, and act as that docking station while you're on the road. Uh, but we have some folks that are that are looking at it for uh, more permanent at their desktop, and that's that's why I'm making my video. Um, when I say traditional dock, say something like the um, Dell WD, uh, WD19 TB uh, Thunderbolt dock that I have here. Uh, definitely a lot more capabilities uh, built into this. But you know, from a price point perspective, uh, how well will this this work? And uh, I'll I'll do some demos of it um, here today. Um, first of all, you know, if we take a, take a look at this device, it's a little puck, it's not, not very um, big, uh, but there's a lot of capabilities built into it. You know, from a feel um, of this, it is um, kind of an ABS plastic, but it is um, a hardened one. So it, it, you'd be challenged not to think that this might be aluminum um, in here. So it's a really well-crafted um, material on it. Uh, and it's also, you know, like I said, meant to be mobile. So as I twist it, the USB-C cable uh, comes out uh, of the device. Um, it also has a nice little kind of rubberized uh, pad on the bottom of it that kind of holds it in place. Um, one thing I do want to note um, before I get too deep into this, this is the DA310. Um, There's also a DA300. Um, the DA310 replaced it, though you still will see this out on the market. I want to make sure um, that, you, that there are differences in these two. Uh, the big thing is the DA310 does have um, um, power pass-through, which I'll, I'll show in a minute. So uh, if you see the, uh, the um, you know, you see people selling the uh, DA300, just note that it's not the same capabilities as, as the 310. Um, but getting back to this, this rubberized pad, and, and what I, I like about this is um, it kind of grips, right? And if, let me get, pull this back a little bit. You can see if I push on here, and I'll, I'll, it has the same thing on the 300. Well, let me turn this upside down just to kind of show you the difference, and I'll, I'll push here, right? You can feel that grip, which is really nice when you have on, on your desk. Then when you plug in the cables, it's not um, all sliding around. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look in, in detail some of the uh, ports on here, what it can do, uh, and then I'll demonstrate uh, hooking up devices to it. So now let's take a look at some of the... Um, ports that are on this and, and ways that uh, you can use it. Uh, like I said uh, originally, this is a USB-C connected and, and it is really nice that you twist this and you can see that the USB-C cable comes out and this is what you would plug into your notebook. Um, you know, it's a retractable cable, which is which is nice. Um, you know, it is multifunction. So over this cable, um, power, um, up to 90 watts of power can pass through it. Uh, your display, your audio, your data all pass through this single cable um, connecting to your to your notebook. Um, and again, it can retract right back in. Now, um, when we talk about docking uh, and you know what's nice about it are all these different ports that you have. So you plug that single cable into your notebook uh, that is giving you power and, and your connection to your monitors and all the peripherals around here. So let's take a look at um, some of these. So uh, first of all, we've got a USB-C cable uh, connection on here, and this is kind of nice. This can work in a couple ways. So if you have an AC adapter, uh, like I've got one uh, over here, you know, um, that would plug in and um, that would supply the power back through um, the retractable cable to your notebook. Uh, or you don't have to do that. If you want to plug your AC adapter directly into your notebook and charge your notebook that way, this port can also um, act as a, um, a display port, as a display port capabilities. Uh, you can do up to a 4K display um, on here. Uh, and thirdly, um, even though it's USB-C, it is also USB 3.1 uh, Gen 2. Uh, so a lot of functionality uh, out of this port. Most people, I, I would guess, would pl plug their AC adapter into, into that, um, which would then charge their, their notebook. Um, but you, you don't have to, you can do it. Um, you can also act as, a, as another port out uh, of it. And if we look over here to the side, we also have um, uh, two uh, USB-A uh, 3.1 Gen 2, that's up to 10 gigabits um, per, uh, per second um, 
uh, data transfer out of out of that. Um, if we keep swinging along, I've got an RJ45 port here, so for your Ethernet. So again, I'm plugging that one cable uh, into my notebook, and now I'm connected to uh, to the Ethernet uh, through the RJ5, uh, RJ45. Uh, usually I get some questions on this about um, its capabilities. Uh, it is a gigabit um, uh, NIC on, on this, or uh, pass-through, I should say, uh, but it does have um, uh, the ability to do Pixie Boot, um, as well as um, uh, MAC address pass-through, right? So it doesn't have its own MAC address, which is, which is nice. It takes it from uh, the system, and it supports wake on LAN. So if you're connected on there and your IT uh, department needs to wake up your system, they can actually wake it up um, passing uh, through this device. So nice uh, RJ45. Uh, you also have an HDMI port on here. Uh, this will support, again, a 4K display. Uh, it'll even support uh, HDR 4K display, which I happen to have, and I'll, I'll demonstrate here in a minute. Uh, it will support it up to 60 uh, hertz refresh rate. Uh, you also have a VGA port. Uh, VGA port can't take you as, as far there. You can do full high definition at 60 hertz on VGA. Um, still people out there with lots of VGA monitors. Uh, and then as well as you've got a display port um, that will support 4K uh, HDR at 60 hertz uh, as well. Um, so one of the first questions I had is like, well, hey, great, I've got, you know, a display port here that I can do uh, video through. I've got VGA, a, a dis another dis full-size display port, HDMI. I could hook a bunch of monitors to it. Um, nope, it'll, it'll only allow you to do one of those monitors on there. So. Um, you know, that's the first thing It may not be clear is how many, how many displays can I actually do. Um, you can only pass through um, one display um, on that, but you certainly can pass through a, a, a very um, high resolution display uh, on it. Uh, the warranty of this device is uh, three years, uh, which, is, which is really nice. Um, it's not one of those kind of 90 day warranties. This is you know, an enterprise class commercial grade uh, product. Um, so uh, very well built and uh, a, a nice warranty to back it up. So now let's take a look and see what we can do with this. Now let's take a look at what I have uh, set up here. I have uh, go ahead and, and put the um, uh, DA310. Uh, I've hooked it up to my notebook through that USB-C uh, retractable cable. I also have connected here my AC adapter into um, uh, the DA310. So you know, I've got my notebook adapter here. Um, I've got that plugged in, which is supplying power uh, to my notebook. Again, it's 90 watts of power to there. Uh, I've also put a wireless dongle on here. So I've got my uh, wireless mouse and keyboard that is connected through here. I even put a USB thumb drive um, on the device. And then I've got, uh, in this case, I'm doing display port uh, to my monitor. This is a, a really, really nice monitor. This is the new uh, Dell U2723QE. Um, it's the world's first uh, uh, IPS black display. It's uh, broadcasting in 4K HDR 400 uh, on there. So I'm pushing a lot uh, through this device um, on here. Uh, but again, I can only hook one uh, monitor um, at a time on here. I couldn't uh, take one of the other, uh, say, HDMI cables and plug a, a second display in. It's only a single uh, display port on there. Uh, but you can see it's very, very simple. And one of the, the nice features on this, if I were to uh, take out the power, right, that I'm charging to my notebook, I don't disrupt anything, right? Everything keeps going. If I was connected to the Ethernet, um, which I'm not right now, the Ethernet would still run. Uh, simply plug this back in and I'm now delivering power uh, to my notebook. Uh, but what's nice about it, right, it's a single um, connection. I don't have to plug all these devices in. When I come back to my desk, I simply plug this one cable in and I'm connected to all these. The fact that it's, uh, you know, retractable and very small can put it put in my backpack. Uh, but now I want to show, um, because I was asked to, uh, if uh, how I can hook up two displays on it. And what I'm going to do, um, I'm running a, a Latitude 7400 um, right now. I'm going to plug a second display through the HDMI port um, on this device. Uh, but speaking of which, that just reminded me, what is the support? Um, it does support Mac, uh, so our Mac users uh, can use this device. It supports the uh, Red Hat Linux, uh, Ubuntu, uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, um, even Chrome uh, can be plugged into this. So it's a really uh, a nice universal device, to more, no matter what, what device you have. Hopefully it's a Dell. Um, and, and as well, one of the things I do want to show, I'm using a um, 7400. 
um, which is a couple of generations ago, and I'm still pushing that 4K uh, to this display in, in HDR. So let me show now uh, hooking up a second display to it. Okay, so now I've hooked up two displays. Uh, and this again, this is a request by uh, one of my colleagues to, to test this out. So um, again, I want to repeat that, that the uh, DA310 can only support one display um, out of this device, uh, but it can go you know, pretty high, right? It's up to 4K with uh, HDR support um, on there at 60 Hertz. So what I've done here is I've taken my latitude um, and I've plugged in uh, the DA310 and then I've taken an HD HDMI port up to here. Um, and as you can see, I'm, I'm running uh, two 4K displays plus the uh, display on my notebook. And I really only have two cables uh, plugging into my notebook. So uh, really nice device. You can see I'm crossing all three displays down here. I got this one down below when I come up and I can you know minimize this and you know minimize that. Um, so uh, that was really one of the tests that they wanted me to, to, to look at is hooking up uh, two displays and using uh, the DA310 and you can see it, it works wonderfully. So uh, I give it a thumbs up. It really, um, you know, from a, a uh, capability and a price point, this is really a, a nice device. Hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, again, my name is Michael Hanian, Client Technology Specialist from Dell.